Why are you looking at us like that? No, I'm looking at you. Okay, what did I say? <laughs> All those highlights you've yes. seen yeah. and the play was the putback? Yes, here's why. Here's why. Because I know he can jump out of the gym. <laughs> I know he comes from the weak side and block shots. I know that he is a, a physically so strong that he looks more like, a, like a, a three technique than he does a basketball player. But the soft touch that he shows you there, the freakish oh. athleticism and the ability to do that despite oh. the brute strength, Steve, so that's green, what I'm impressed So with. Greeny, Mike Greenberg, yes. a pillar of the sports of the sports community. If you say so okay, yourself. Okay, that's been here for decades. <laughs> yes. You, all the things that you've seen, this guy grabs a rebound and without coming down, softly puts it back. Yes. Without coming down yes. first and going up. And that is the play that stood yes. out of your mind. Like, other than all of those dunks, the steal, the breakaway dunks, the block where his head almost hit the rim. Yes. All right, the alley-oop <laughs> where his face was at the rim. All of that stuff gets shoved aside right. for a nice soft Because it was back. almost like he was holding a baby bird and he was returning <laughs> it to the nest without <laughs> touching the ground. Work with it. Jalen, do you see what I'm saying? No, the, the, they don't see what you're saying. <laughs> they don't see what you're saying, Greedy. They don't see what you're saying. This is spiraling out of control here. Anyone, <laughs> any, let's, let's, okay, all kidding aside, and I don't even know if you're kidding, but just how do you, what words are we using to describe Zion Williamson now? Well, he's phenomenal. He's a man amongst boys. I think that's the phrase to use. You could see Syracuse. He's one of the rare talents that we've seen in college basketball that literally has instilled fear in his opponents. If you look at when he gets the ball down low, you're starting to see guys that just move out the way. His power is very, very evident. And even though it wasn't to that degree for who I'm about to mention, you know, we've seen a lot of great talent. Mello as a freshman was sensational, obviously. But I think about Chris Webber and what he was with you as a freshman, the Fab Five. Chris Webber, when he came onto the scene as a freshman on college basketball, he had that kind of presence. Not power, but that kind of presence. That's why I was trying to tell people, like, Zion is a wonderful player, but... Who is he going to start over, Jawan or C. Webb? We're, we're, oh, no, no, no. We, you already lost that one. <laughs> you lost that. Don't let me know. Okay. I had to take okay. care of you on that one. Okay. Come on now. Okay. That, that's not where he's sending you. That, it, 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 everything doesn't come back to the Fab Five. Well, I didn't bring it up. I, I did. That. I did. I understand that. But, but let me ask you this. You said, I said an interesting thing earlier today as well, that he doesn't shoot a lot from the outside. He made his only three. But his shot isn't broken. It's not that he has a bad shot. It's just not something he's developed. But it is something that he might be able to develop on the next level. So when Ben Simmons got drafted, people <laughs> thought I was crazy because I was like, I think this guy shoots with the wrong hand. If you notice, when he finishes at the hoop or when it's a clutch situation or his little runners or floaters are all with his right hand. But when he goes to the free throw line, he shoots with his left hand. And his jump shot is broken. Now when you look at a guy like Zion, you look at his mass and think that guy can't shoot because of opportunity. No, his shot isn't broken. He's going to get in the league when he's not going to class every day. I think he can develop a shot. It looks really good. I think Zion is going to be an elevated version of Blake Griffin to some degree. When you talk about a LeBron James, I see Ben Simmons as being a jump shot away from being LeBron James. I think if Ben Simmons develops a jump shot, it's over. I mean, it's a wrap. But can, can he? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't mean, either. the shot is so ugly. But they do have him posting <laughs> up more. They do have him being more aggressive with his mid-range game. You see him shooting floaters now. You see him shooting a 10-foot shot now. I've, I didn't see that last year. I'm seeing that. So there is level of improvement. But if Ben Simmons, you talk about the Greek freak and Anthony Davis and Kevin Durant. If Ben Simmons develops a jump shot, it's over. Philadelphia, I'm just trying to tell you, it's, it's, on that, it's on that kind of level. And the one thing about Zion is, of course, he's a freak athlete, but he's coming into the league at a terrific time where positionless basketball is so very dominant and prevalent. True. So wherever he goes, you're going to mix and match opportunities so he can take advantage of the guy he's going against. So usually as a coach, and you correct me if I'm wrong, you can put him in matchups where he's going to be the bigger guy. You can put him in matchups where he's going to be the faster guy. So you can mask the fact that he's not a knockdown shooter just yet. Frank Vogel, if you're coaching the team that drafts him, what is the first thing you're thinking to yourself, he brings me? This is what I'm using him for immediately when he comes in the league next year. He'll be 19 years old. Well, the word everybody keeps talking about is the presence that he brings to the table. Just by being on the floor last night, okay, the, the, it just changed the whole game. It changed Duke's whole demeanor, uh, gave them confidence, and, and that's what it's going to do for, for any team that he gets drafted by.